Meanwhile, it is the end of a television era, and saying goodbye to Letterman is a little harder for one group of Chicagoans. They are the kid scientists chosen to be on the show to demonstrate scientific experiments and to generate a lot of laughs. But for the young participants we spoke with, it ended up being a lot more than that. Here they are from uh, Naperville, Illinois. Whoa. Whoa. Since 1997, close to 100 local kids have been on Letterman, setting bubbles on fire, creating glow-in-the-dark concoctions and blowing things up. It all started with former Naperville teacher Lee Merrick. He designed experiments for the kids and even helped choose who would go. We're looking for kids that uh, were bright so that they could memorize a script. They had to be sure of themselves. Back in 2001, 11-year-old Justin Begetrick fit the bill. And that will undergo chemiluminescence. Uh -huh. And what, what is that there that you're mixing it in? His experiment created a pretty spectacular glow-in-the-dark foam. The experience left him with a lasting affection for David Letterman. I thought he was a really nice and friendly guy. And something else. After that, I was more involved in school, and now that carries over into my work life. Katie Johnson was 13 in 2000 when she did her experiment blending raw liver and hydrogen peroxide to demonstrate catalysts. Somebody call Starbucks. I think we got something here. Katie says that having the courage to be on Letterman set her on a path to other adventures like climbing Mount Kilimanjaro and hiking through Peru. So it definitely gave me more excitement with life and taking opportunities and seizing them. Putting together all these experiments was hard work, but Lee Merrick had a mission. If you can make science interesting and fun, then maybe students will go into it. 12-year-old Kate Burrett loved language arts until she was in the last group of kids scientists to go on the show last February. Now um, I've gotten like, I really like chemistry and like biology and that sort of stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Are you all right? Thank you, Kate. And fun to see them all grown up, right? Well, people always ask, were the kids in any danger? Lee Merrick says no. The experiments were checked over and over again. There was a fire marshal involved, and Merrick was always a few feet from the set. Pretty fun. But you think about these kids on a national stage and what it did for their whole lives and their confidence. And, and how they, it engaged them in school, maybe in a way they hadn't been engaged before, right? Exactly. That's terrific.